What's up guys, Jeremy here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about all the reasons why you shouldn't buy real estate. I know what you're thinking, whoa, 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 what the heck, Jeremy is advising against real estate? No, 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 don't let the thumbnail fool you. I love real estate with all my heart and I do truly believe that it is the best and safest investment and it's the best way to build generational wealth. Me not liking real estate is like Tom Brady not winning the Super Bowl. Check to but I will admit there are certain situations and certain factors that if present you should not buy real estate Most of this pretty much revolves around timing and more so your timing But as we go on through this video, I'll explain what I mean by that So I'll cut to the chase and we'll get started But before we do that I'm gonna need you to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for the YouTube algorithm And you know while you're at it go ahead and follow me on all my other social media platforms as well all right, so the number one reason why you should not buy real estate, and I see so many people making this mistake, is that you should not buy real estate if your real estate agent isn't Jeremy Mateo. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but really, if you're trying to buy real estate here in Hawaii, go ahead and shoot me an email and I'd love to help you out and enjoy my shameless plug. All right, so for real this time, do not buy real estate if number one, you do not have extra funds. So in order to buy a home, you need a 5% down payment if you're a first time home buyer. However, when buying a home, there is one factor that a lot of people overlook and that's called closing costs. Closing costs are usually around 1% of the purchase price. On top of that, when you're buying a home, you need a thing called reserves. Reserves are basically emergency funds that you should have in your bank account for an emergency. Most of these emergencies are like, you know, the worst thing that could happen is if, let's say you buy a home and then God forbid you lose your job, how are you gonna pay the mortgage? That is what reserve funds are for. They say to be extra safe is that you should have at least six months of mortgage payments saved up in your bank account for your reserves. So again, you're gonna need your down payment you're gonna need funds for your closing costs and you're gonna need funds for your reserves. So let's say you're buying a $500,000 home. You are going to need 5% down payment, which is $25,000, and you're gonna need 1% for closing costs, which is $5,000. So first of all, in order to buy the home, you're gonna need $30,000. However, you can't just buy a home and your bank account is gonna be empty. That's why you have reserves. So with a $500,000 purchase with 5% down payment, with today's interest rates, your monthly mortgage is going to be about $1,900, but let's just call it $2,000 to be simple. So six months of mortgage payments would be about $12,000. So let's add all that up together. So to buy a $500,000 home, you're gonna need your down payment. You're gonna need funds for your closing costs. And on top of that, you're gonna need six months of mortgage payments in reserves. All in all, that is about $42,000 that you need in your bank account in order to buy a home. And that is to buy it completely safe with the less risk possible. So again, if you wanna buy a home, you're gonna need more than just your down payment. So if you don't have the extra funds, I don't recommend buying a home just yet. All right, so reason number two why you shouldn't buy real estate is that if you are relocating soon. So if you're thinking about buying and you know you're gonna move within the next three to four years, you should not buy a home only if you are not okay with renting it out while you're gone. But if you are okay with renting it out while you're gone, then go ahead, be my guest, buy a home, but make sure to call me. However, again, if you don't want to hang on to it and you need to sell it, just know that in like a three to four year span, if you sell it, you might be at a negative only because of closing costs and realtor costs. So you might be thinking, wait, Jeremy, why would someone buy a home if they know they're going to relocate and move somewhere within the next three, four years? Well, believe it or not, it's actually very common, especially for military folks. Here in Hawaii, we have a lot of military bases and we have a good amount of a military community. There's a lot of people serving the military and that means there's a lot of potential buyers who are looking to buy real estate here in Hawaii. However, when a military person moves to their new base, their tour or the amount of time they're staying here usually lasts around two to maybe three or four years. And then after that, they get PCS and they move to their next location. For me, myself, I have a lot of military clients and a lot of people moving here and usually ask me if they should buy or not. When they ask, I always tell them, well, if you buy it and you end up having to move, are you okay with renting it out? Most of the time they're going to say yes, because I mean, it's Hawaii. Hawaii is a great real estate investment and they usually fall in love with Hawaii and they know that 
years from now, when they're done with their military career, they're gonna move back to Hawaii into the house they bought many years before. However, there are some people, depending on their circumstances, that they don't want to rent it out when they leave, and re they'd rather sell it when they're about to leave. If that's the case, and you know you don't wanna rent it out and you just wanna sell it, I'd pretty much recommend not buying real estate. Ultimately, it's a case by case situation and it's really based on you know someone's risk tolerance and if they're okay with renting it out while they're away from Hawaii. If you're watching this and you're not from Hawaii, then you know same thing goes. It's just up to you. Are you okay with you know trusting a property manager to take care of your property while you're gone? All right, so the third reason why you should not buy real estate is if you are buying with intentions to sell for profit quickly. So unless you are like a real estate investor and you're trying to flip houses, I wouldn't recommend that. Sometimes when people ask me about buying real estate, one of the questions they ask is, oh, I'll, well, if I sell it in three to four years, will I make a huge profit? That's usually when the red flags go up and I have to remind them that investing in real estate, buying real estate is a long-term game. I always tell people that you should always buy real estate with the intentions of holding onto it for the long term and not try to sell it in the short term expecting huge profit. No one can predict home values of the future. You know, all we can do is look at history and make educated assumptions. All right, so this is a graph of the median price of homes here on Oahu to give you some context. And here is a poorly drawn replica version of said graph. So again, when you're trying to buy a home, right? And let's say you bought here and based on history, it looks like we're gonna go up, but you know, no one can predict the future and prices went down because of the 08 recession. So if you bought here and prices went down and you're thinking about selling three to four years, you would have hated me. You'd be like, Jeremy, what the f why did you tell me to buy a home and tell me that, you know, I can make a profit by selling it three to four years later? Again, real estate is a long-term game. So you shouldn't buy with intentions of selling in like three to four years. But if you just hold on to it, look what, what the market happens and we get to here, then you'd love me. You'd be like, oh my God, Jeremy, I love you so much. So again, it's not about buying and trying to sell in the long, in the short term. It's about buying and holding on to it. And over time, in the long run, your price, the prices and the value of your home will go up. And if you wanted to sell, then you could sell. But I'm gonna, re you know, repeat this again. Don't buy with intentions of selling in like three to four years because you never know what could happen. All right, I hope you enjoyed that presentation. All right, so number four, why you should not buy real estate is simply if you're not gonna be happy with your purchase. In other words, don't buy real estate if you feel like you're settling and you're just not gonna be happy living in the home you buy. For me, you know, personally, I do strongly believe that you should buy real estate as soon as you can afford it. The earlier you get into the game, the better, because essentially you are getting into the game really early and starting to build equity, starting to build wealth earlier than most people. However, like I said in the beginning, there are certain circumstances, holy crap, say that five times fast. There are certain circumstances, there are certain circumstances that I advise where if this is the case, you should wait until you should buy real estate. One example is like, you know, let's say your credit isn't the best. Like it's not terrible, but it's not the best and you still can get pre-approved for a loan. However, due to your not so good credit score, you get to buy a home with a not so good interest rate. So therefore, ultimately the not so good interest rate cripples your buying power. So if it cripples your buying power, then maybe you could have got pre-approved for a $500,000 home, but essentially you can only buy a $300,000 home. If that's the case, you know, I definitely recommend honestly just waiting and just, you know, work on your credit score until it's at least 720 and it gets you a really good interest rate. And don't worry about having FOMO or feel like you're missing out and, or maybe Maybe you're scared that the interest rate is going to go up. If you watch my video that I made a couple weeks ago about my predictions of the real estate market, in there I say that the Federal Reserve did say that they're going to keep interest rates at an all-time low until 2023. Another example is like, let's say you are fresh at your new job or something like that. And with that amount of income that you're getting from your job, it only qualifies you at a certain level. Let's say, you know, it qualifies you for a $300,000 home. Some people, they wanna buy right away, but they're not happy with the price range where they're at. 
However, in some careers, maybe they know they're going to get a pay raise or they know they're gonna make more money the next year. So if that's the case, then if I were you and you're not happy with the $300,000 home market, just wait a year until you get that pay raise. Just wait a year till you know you, you get a bigger qualifying power to buy a bigger home, like let's say $500,000. I honestly, if I knew that I would be making more in the future, I would just wait. I would not settle for a lower priced home if I knew in the future I could qualify for a you know, a bigger priced home. If you are able to wait and have the patience, I promise you, you're gonna be so much more happier in living and buying the home that you like. So again, if you know you have a 300K budget, but you have a 500K taste, then just wait, be patient. And once you are ready to get qualified at that price, then do it. But it, you know, if you have a 300K budget and a million dollar taste, then just you have to be real with yourself and you know, get real with your expectations. Well, there you have it guys. That's pretty much all the reasons I can think of of why you should not buy real estate. Again, you guys know me, I love real estate. I live, breathe, eat, sleep real estate. And I truly believe that buying real estate as soon as you can afford it, is you know the best thing that you can do for yourself as far as building generational wealth. But remember, make sure that one, you can afford it, two, it makes sense, and three, make sure you're not forcing anything, and then most of all, make sure you're happy buying what you're gonna buy. And again, if you're looking to buy real estate, go ahead and shoot me an email, I'd love to help you out. For four free stocks, click the link below, create a Webull account, deposit $100, and start investing in stocks. Thank you guys again for watching, I'll see you next time.